Welcome to another episode about Denep here in Power BI. This is a custom visual made by Daniel Marsh Patrick. It's an amazing visual. I mean, you can do very interesting visuals or graphs or charts. And in this episode, this is the episode number 23, we are going to create this beautiful graph, expenses versus budget. We are going to create two versions, but it's important that we are also have the possibility to import this code from a template. The only thing you, you have to do is going to the web page from sentidoanalytica.com. Here I'm going to place in the category from Deneb all the previous codes from the Deneb series from these videos. For example, we have the Deneb number 22, gastos versus presupuestos, um, expenses versus budget. You click here. And also, if you like the, to import this template, you copy here the, um, the on, on plain text, or no, here, copy to clipboard. Then you grab it from to a JSON, save it as a JSON. Then you have to uh, place the, the same values. I mean, the, this graph has the month, the budget, the expenses. If you are using a column or a measure, uh, the variance, the, the percentage, Click in ellipses, edit. You are going to click here and import a template. Okay. Click here, select the JSON, select the, the file, the, the text file as, as a JSON. Okay. You will see here uh, the net number 23, expenses versus budget B2. This is a bar chart with, with a style similar to the IBCS, International Business Communication Standards, used by Sever BI or Info River Custom Visual. This is a, we are emulating, okay? Um, if you have any su uh, suggestions, su su sugerencias or su suggestions, you can write me uh, for, to, my, to my email. So, we are going to click here. You, you, you have to select the month, the expenses, the budget, and the variance. Click here and create, and ta-da, that's it, no more. You will see all the code that is create is creating this, this 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 visual. Also the configuration. We're going to create two versions. One which is a static like this. I am, I click I am clicking here. Control and click and nothing happens. And another which is this with cross with cross cross filtering on and the opacity configuration. The opacity configuration let us this. One, two, three, four. You see that? So, another thing I want to practice, and also I'm trying to practice in English for the first time in my videos. I always speak in Spanish, but this year, 2022, I want to create more videos and a lot of languages, so English is the way to go. I'm going to explain to you how to create this graph step by step, because it's very abstract. It's very hard to to explain this in all the sentence, all the code. See, let me show you. At, at least from November uh, the last year, when I started to study this almost three months ago, I see the, um, the, sentence, you, the sentence you said here in JSON from Beg of Vegalite. It, it was very hard to, 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 to understand that. So I'm going to, to use this um, style or maybe well see the style or option to explain this step by step so first we need to create this let me show you uh export data no here in the ellipsis edit first step one budget with conditional formatting we have this encoding which is x and y axis field month the sort January, February, March, April, May, blah, 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 blah. The scale with a padding. Then Y axis with type is quantitative. The axis label is in false because I don't want this axis here. You see, I don't want this. I, I, want, I don't want uh, the numbers, okay? False here. This is a layer. Well, this is a layer, but it only has one 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 bar. In the step two, we'll have two bars. In the step number three, three bars, and then. So 
the description budget with conditional formatting what type of mark mark is a bar or a line or an area chart or a rectangle okay the type is a bar the x off offset is five it's important because if you put all the bars one on a top of each other you need to move the bars to the left or to the right to see it so the this operator this operator 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 see it's important operator or maybe this is hey let me show you see it's an operator okay or an option this is a layering i will sh i will um, let you hear this in the documentation it's important to read the, la the layering because this is only possible or the documentation from vega light is official documentation there are no other um, um, sources in, in the internet to explain this instead of several uh, videos on youtube on or maybe some courses but the documentation official the official documentation from vega light is the way to go okay you need to understand what is layering so in the encoding this is um the y-axis okay budget is uh, we are we are plotting or the bars are are um, creating by the budget and this field is a conditional formatting because we are telling that if expenses is less than the budget i want it in green instead transparent if i create this in blue instead do you see so i don't want the other part this is a step number one budget with conditional formatting then we are going to create the same syntax but with the expenses value you will see that that here is the same the layer is the same description is expensive mark of, of x offset in five the field is different because it is expensive the conditional is also different if expenses are less than budget switch first the transparent and then this color red okay step number two the step number three is the budget the budget doesn't have a conditional format let me see no it doesn't have a conditional format uh, is the same pattern the layer description this budget is a bar but this bar has uh, this color e2 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 or a gray very slow very very light very light gray the it it, it, ha, it, ha, it has a stroke not so black or see not so uh, strong because i'm going to create this see the difference it's, it's too much uh, it's cognitive for my eyes is too much it's, it's, it's too strong i i mean I, I don't need that so 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 black so so strong i need something more slightly okay the encoding is um budget because this the, these bars are created by the budget okay we are in the step number three step number four labeling percentage okay the labeling percentage is the labeling percentage <laughs> okay this is another mark but it's not a graph per se it's a text percentage the type of mark is a gray is a text the align is in the center the field is black this in in this case i need very uh, a black um, text very um, a strong black and uh, the dx says minus one the j of offset is minus minus six the size is 10 and encoding is a test from the field the variance or percentage quantitative type the format i use i i using the this type of, of format the pbi format from dana this is not a feature from vega light the format type pbi format is coming from dana and also we have this conditional this conditional is if expense expenses is is, uh, is greater than budget i wanted red instead black this is the step number four and the step number five is expenses with labels here we have two marks the bars and the text okay first here we have the same encoding okay then we have the expenses bar 
this is the color of the bar. This is a black, but more, more lightly, okay? Um, the J of the, the X, uh, the X of set is, is 10, it's not 5. Do you see? Because you need to move this bar to another place because we need to see that. Um, the Y axis is expensive. The test integer is test, blah, 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 blah. It's very similar and also have um, a conditional. No, here we don't have a conditional format. No, we don't have a conditional format here. So, the layering, the final step is layering all these graphs in one single graph. Step number one, step number two, this is a mark, one mark, two marks, three marks, four mark, five and six marks, because these have the text and the bars. And the last uh, step is this, I will show you in this example. The layering is this. We have the encoding, the first step, and then the layering. The layering is wrapping all the all that, that all that previous syntax in only or wrap it in a in a in a single way. You have the layer here, the first mark, the second mark, the no, the, the, the step number three, text percentage. This is a step number four, and this expenses uh, and, and text integer is a step number five. And here we close the layering. You see that? It's very interesting because we are we are we are positioning um, one one bar in top of each other. It's, it's very interesting. Well. <laughs> It's hard to me explain in English for the first time. I need to practice a little bit more, but uh, it's the beginning. So, con esto finalizamos un nuevo episodio sobre Deneb y Vega Light aquí en Power BI.